afternoon and welcome to another edition of ClinCheck Theater Thursday. I am your host, Dr. Dave Galler. Uh, today we're going to explore a phenomenon that I call grooving. Grooving is a phenomenon where the system takes teeth that are already in occlusion and tries to make them into a tighter occlusion. A tighter occlusion is not really necessary and not really needed at all. Um, there are various lines in the code that make this happen. General rule is this. If your posterior teeth are in occlusion, you should not see any extrusive or intrusive forces on them at all. So let's take a look at these two second premolars. If I would say to you at the beginning of the case, do you like the way that they are occluding? Your answer should be, yes, that looks pretty good. But watch what the ClinCheck does to them. You see how they're kind of like grooving, almost like trying to get a tighter occlusion onto them? That will not yield anybody any happiness and will just lead to a possible posterior interference. It's kind of like almost trying to just kind of groove the teeth like tighter into it, just making them tighter into occlusion. That is a very bad idea. I could see it if you were trying to use it with wires and brackets trying to kind of tighten the teeth lock and key into each other but if you're using a clear liner the teeth are already separated by plastic and they will be moving on their own then the plastic gets pulled out and you want the end stage occlusion to be tighter Grooving can work when the teeth are constantly in contact with each other and you're putting bends into the wire, you're repositioning brackets and the teeth are kind of constantly touching each other and they can kind of groove slash wear into each other. But when the teeth are completely touching, there is no orthodontic logic to try and groove them into each other. I simply would tell the technician, remove all movements on the second bicuspids on the left side. There is no reason to do any grooving. At the end of the day, kids, grooving is not groovy. Thanks very much. This has been a ClinCheck Theater Thursday. I am your host, Dr. Dave Gallard.